She wakes up every morning. She walks to her mirror. She sighs, fawning over her eyes. Why can't they be blue or green? Why did she have to get the ugly jeans? She is only 14, yet here she stands, same place, same time, wishing above all that she wouldn't have to refine, cover up, cover up, cover up. Cover those lips, biting at her through the mirror. With those lips, who would ever want to kiss her? looking away before she notices her jawline. Cover up, cover up, cover up. This is why I have makeup. Why can't she look like the other girls, pretty beauties with curls, thin or fat, fat or thin? Doesn't matter if she's beautiful from within. They don't care if she's got a heart of gold, as long as the clothes that she wears or the way she parts her hair will declare being with her will uphold a reputation that's rare. They don't care if she has to cry herself to sleep to be wishing she was pretty. They don't see the hatred behind her smile. The hatred she has for herself is quite vile, but they don't care as long as she smiles for them, in front of them. They don't care if her hair is as fake as her nails, or her heart is as gold as her eyeshadow. As long as she presents what they want others to see, as long as she will be a 21st century teen, as long as she always looks like perfection, no blemishes, no cellulite, no stretch marks, as long as she always reflects the arts. They don't see her natural smile or how she cries in denial, only that she is marked by society's marker. Labeled, written, drawn, spotless, fair, fawn, pretty, pampered, pawn. No, she breathes, who are they to be pleased? I am me, who I'm supposed to be. I don't have to be in the crowd, the crowd of fakes, the crowd of clones, the crowd that believes being unique forces you to leave the throne. This time she walks to the mirror and she smiles. She doesn't need to be enough for their throne. She is enough for her very own.